Welcome to the 2021 Autumn Graduation Ceremony. As one of the largest, long-standing and most transformed universities in Sub-Saharan Africa, the University of KwaZulu-Natal is an institution with a proud and rich heritage of academic excellence. In April 2021, the Centre for World Universities Rankings put UKZN in the top 2.5% of universities worldwide placing it at 483 out of 19,788 universities globally. The rankings are based on an assessment of key academic and institutional indicators, including research output, quality of education, alumni employment, as well as citations. Additionally, UKZN was placed 71 globally by 2020 Times Higher Education Young University Rankings, a 15-position advancement since 2019. It is the only African university which features in the top 100 of these rankings which assesses research-intensive universities across all their core missions. The university's annual graduation ceremonies are at the heart of its academic calendar. For graduates, it is their proudest moment, signaling the culmination of a challenging academic journey in which peers, family and friends also join in to share their excitement. Although we are precluded from hosting a traditional physical graduation ceremony, we are elated at the opportunity to gather in a virtual space and celebrate in a new and unconventional way with you. The virtual graduation ceremony will entail the conferring of degrees on graduates who have succeeded in fulfilling their academic requirements and whose names appear on the graduation program. Congratulations, our graduates. You have made us proud. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I constitute this congregation of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Please be seated. Welcome to the College of Humanities virtual graduation for 2021. Congratulations to you all for successfully navigating your way through a challenging academic journey to achieve a milestone of note in your life's graduation. Ordinarily, graduation ceremonies in the College of Humanities are filled with jubilation. And although the COVID-19 pandemic has robbed us of the opportunity to be part of your celebrations. We are happy that we have been able to travel this long journey with you. While this pandemic has disrupted many aspects of our lives, you have made it. This graduation ceremony signifies great accomplishment and marks the transition to the next chapter of your life. Graduating class of 2021, this is a time of joyous celebration when you and your families and friends will come together to rejoice in your educational achievements. 
We are well aware that the educational path of the university student has its challenges, but you have succeeded against them all. For many of you, this journey was not easy. It was filled with hard work and many sacrifices, but your determination, persistence and commitment has led you to this moment. The academic qualification you will receive today from the University of KwaZulu-Natal is your passport to a better future, be it further study or the world of work. I urge you to go out into the world and inspire greatness in all that you do. As tomorrow's leaders, you have an important role to play. South Africa's prosperity depends on you. You are about to enter a highly competitive job market and do approach it with the mindset of a job creator instead of a job seeker. We are confident that you enter that space with the necessary skills and expertise to compete with the best that South Africa has to offer. Put into practice all that we have learned and will continue to learn. South Africa needs you now more than ever. You have done well indeed. Congratulations. And a thousand words of thanks to our staff, their families, and our sponsors whose support and encouragement have been instrumental in achieving this significant milestone. As they say in the Ngoni languages, Izanda Ziakezana. I wish you success in all your future endeavors, in all that you do. Always remember to represent the University of KwaZulu-Natal as your alma mater in a positive light, always flying our flag high. I thank you, stay safe and take care. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, the Executive Management of the University of Wazul Natal, the Student Representative Council, members of the Executive Committee of Convocation, dear parents, graduates, allow me to extend our very warm greetings on behalf of the Executive Committee of Convocation in the University of Wazul Natal. Allow me to extend our heartfelt condolences to the royal family. We take this opportunity to salute the good work by His Majesty the King, whom we all know education was dear to his heart and he was an ambassador in ensuring that education is for everyone and education is fashionable. And we shall continue to strive to ensure that education is fashionable to everyone. We thank you, Tlangalum Tlabati, Sitibayete, Wenawendlov, Bazali, dear colleagues, graduates, we take this opportunity to congratulate you on your achievements. And we acknowledge the fact that it has not been an easy year. 2020 has been a difficult year for almost all of us. Uh, it has been difficult for lecturers, it has been difficult for students, it has been difficult for management, for council of the university. But we wish to thank you for your perseverance you have been uh, dear to us. We are hoping that the university has been dear to you as well. We take this opportunity to say congratulations to all of you. You deserve to be where you are today. But one thing that we must all understand and learn to understand is that the journey just begins. As this journey begins, we have one responsibility. And that responsibility is to always uphold the flag of the University of KwaZulu-Natal to the highest order uh, where we can take it. As you graduate today, you must bear it in mind that 
you are an ambassador of the University of KwaZulu Natal. In your own corner, in your own space, whatever you do, you must know that it will reflect to the University of KwaZulu Natal. When you do good, it will reflect to the University of KwaZulu Natal. If you do bad, it will reflect to the University of KwaZulu Natal. Therefore, I urge all of you that as you leave the university, those who have completed their master's degree, uh, those who are doing their PhDs, please know that whatever you do, it shall be in the best interest of uplifting the University of KwaZulu Natal. And I wish to continue urging all of you that go back to your communities, plow back to your communities, uplift your communities, all will be well with time. We know that there is high level of unemployment, but we did not produce you to be employed. We produced you to, pro to employ other people. You have that greater responsibility to go out and work harder. Life is just beginning. With those few words, we wish to say thank you very much for choosing University of KwaZulu Natal. We will continue to inspire greatness, and we are grateful that you have chosen this university as your university of choice. May the good Lord protect all of us. I thank you. Revolutionary greetings, graduates of 2021. Today we are pleased to call you all graduate as it has been a journey that is filled with so many challenges and different obstacles which you guys have managed to overcome. This is the day where we expect each and every graduate to celebrate it to its fullest as we have seen how our students throughout there have been working so hard to be where they are today. Along this journey, we have seen a number of our students having sleepless nights in lands and libraries. Being depressed, we have seen them undergoing counseling because of many challenges which they have been facing, which were ranging from family problems, financial problems, and academic matters, which posed a great threat to their studies. Along this journey, we have fed our students that have lost their friends in residence spaces and on campus. Friends whom they have shared quite a significant and great memories with throughout their life in, in varsity. We have lost students that are supposed to be here celebrating with us today because of the pandemic and other related diseases that ended up costing their lives. Some of our students that we have within the university have lost their parents and their guardians. We have forever encouraged them to strive for success and always do better in life. It has been a very long and sad journey for some of our students. And we are hoping that the parents, guardians, and students that are supposed to be here are smiling in heaven and looking down upon us and celebrating with us. We as the SRC, we are so proud of each and every graduate that is here. You have managed to strive for success in your studies, even under such difficult conditions that we are subjected to under the pandemic of COVID-19. New ways of studying have been implemented. We have had the transition from contact learning to online learning. On-campus support structures have decreased, and times spent on our campuses and residences were reduced, thus meaning less access to study resources. However, through all of those obstacles and through your determination and enthusiasm, you have shown that you can overcome anything and pursue your right, which is the right to education. Through your hard work and determination, we as the SRC are so proud to also announce that you guys have managed to place our university to be ranked as the fourth best university in Africa. And for that, you guys deserve a round of applause. We must also give thanks to our support structures that have always been there for us from, from day one. We must thank our parents and guardians who have supported us and helped us get here today. We must thank our comrades that are situated in different campuses for their assistance that they have rendered to us from day one we entered the institution of higher learning. And lastly, we must thank our community members who have offered their assistance where they could, as we all need to remember that we are community members before we are, being, we are students. Our country is still in the midst of different challenges. 
we can mention the challenge of inequality, the challenge of poverty, unemployment, gender-based violence, post-graduate funding issues, and free decolonized, well-resourced quality education that students throughout the country have been calling for. However, when a day like today happens, it is indeed a moment of great celebration because there are many of other students outside the UK and community still fighting for access to higher education. However, we have that right and privilege here in UKZN. Hence, that's why we are having such a prestigious event. You are each fortunate to be here, but you have also worked hard to succeed. And doors will open. And when they open, it will be up to each and every one of you guys to decide whether you'll trap the opportunity with both hands and fly along with it in order to change your lives and the lives of your parents. As the student body, we often look to graduations as the day that signals the beginning of a new journey and a platform that showers blessing on a cohort of future leaders who will contribute meaningly to the well-being of our country and offer support to our institution where they see fit. As we are all aware that as an institution, we are still undergoing a crisis of funding within the university. So now we are also going to call upon the graduates to also come out in their numbers to come and assist the university in terms of financial side. For us to be able to fund more students who are also going to fulfill their dreams as you guys have done so. Throughout your stay, we have held hands with you to engage with management to create an environment that offers everyone who walks through these doors an equal opportunity. We must acknowledge their efforts and the response to go beyond the education and research mandate and leave the door open for continuous engagement. In our democracy, engagements are very important. It also allows for outcomes that lead to events like the one that we are having today. We stand together today to celebrate you guys. Those after you, we look to you guys to lead. Take the torch of success and make it bend bright so that you use your educational achievements as a tool for change. A tool to make a difference and a tool that will open doors for you and your families. Your story is a story of inspiration and hope, given the challenge of the pandemic, poverty, death, and destruction. We need hope to take us to the other side. Power to each of you for having bent the midnight oil, so you to speak. For some of us, it would have been smooth sailing, and for others, a mountain to climb. But whatever the challenge, all of you have achieved success. Congratulations to each and everyone that is here today on your achievement. It means big things, big opportunities, and doors to be opened. If it wasn't for your hard work, dedication, love for education, and love for the institution, then you guys wouldn't have been here today. But because you have shown your dedication and your love, everything is now starting to flow into place. You are about to go out there, meet new people, be exposed to new environments, be exposed to different coping mechanisms, and we know with all the pressure that you guys have felt here in UKZN, it's the pressure you guys are going to handle even outside. We believe in you guys. We have forever believed in you guys. And even now that we believe that you guys are going to bring change to the entire country. Therefore, what we are saying is aluta kontaniwa and congratulations. I thank you. On behalf of the School of Education here at the University of Kwazulu Natal, I'm delighted to be congratulating you on achieving this very important milestone of graduating. UKZN is a premier university of African scholarship, and certainly you are the cream of the crop having graduated from this institution. My name is Professor Thabo Msibi. I am the Dean and Head of School of the School of Education here at UKZN, and it is my honor to be congratulating you today on achieving this very important milestone. As you know, UKZN is amongst the best performing institutions, both locally and globally, and you must be proud to possess a qualification from this marvelous and wonderful institution. 
we wish to congratulate you for having worked so hard, especially given the challenges that COVID-19 presented us uh, with. And we know that you had to struggle to complete your qualifications, especially as uh, COVID-19 arrived in your final year of study. We are very pleased, however, that you were able to work hard and that you were able to attain the achievements that you've been able to uh, uh, achieve. We wish you well as you embark on this very important and new journey and it must be very exciting for you and your families to be at this important point in your lives, whether you're going to be remaining in South Africa or actually going abroad or starting a new business or actually being employed somewhere, we know that you will make us proud. UKZN aims to inspire greatness. You are our greatness and you are our inspiration. Continue to inspire the world. Congratulations and very well done. Yani bingele la nonge bafundi enizo kwe tweswa iziku zenu zemfundo epageme. E, si sikole se zifundo zobutigo si ani halalise la gempumele loyenu si ne tweswa upape lwe kwala kwala gempumele loyenu. E, ama tigo emshabeni wonge a tuwele ganzima genga yupupane lwe COVID-19. Ngi atalage uguti ni hambe ni sabalale umshaba wonge Nisebenzi se amakono enu eni wazu zile enu vesi ya kwazu lunatal ukwazu uwenza umeshuko emshabeni wonke chigelele. E, sibonga kakulu abazali benu, sibonga abafundisi, sibonga nemindeni enu, e wazile uguti yene inesege inikase na ngezimali. Sijulisa ukubonga kakulu futi kuhulumeni waseni ngezim Afrika, abaningi benu batola no mabazuza leziku genga yo kaso lezimali oluvela gena uhulumeni. Si ambonga gega kulu, hambanike nye emshabe ni wonke, si zpe nyangane, ni hambe ez nyatelwe ni ze nyuvesi ya kwazulu natal, engene ya manyuvesi ahamba pambili emshabe ni wonke ngugweze mfondo. Go and inspire greatness. Congratulations to the class of 2021 graduation. As a Dean of the School of Built Environment and Development Studies, I would like to congratulate you all. I would like to congratulate you for the well, job well done. You have made us proud. You have made your families proud. You have made everyone who supported you proud. You have made it. So congratulations to you. I would like to thank parents and support, and support systems in your lives who have made this possible for you. I would like to thank you because you have uh, uh, really worked hard this year. Uh, and uh, congratulations from the School of Built Environment and Development Studies. And your lecturers are also proud of you, the administrators and everyone who made it possible for you to be where you are today. So congratulations and be happy today, it's your day. Thank you. Hello, I'm David Spurrett, the Dean and Head of the School of Religion, Philosophy and Classics. I'm very sorry that you're not graduating in person this year. One of the highlights of my year is reading your names and seeing the pride and delight of your family members and loved ones. Nonetheless, congratulations to you and to them. Speaking now specifically to the graduates and diplomates who are gathered for this ceremony. You have achieved a great deal. Merely getting into university is a significant achievement. Completing a qualification is another, and some of you are here for your second, third, or even fourth degree. My deep congratulations to all of you, and in particular to those whose degrees included majors in the subjects taught in my own school, those being theology, ethics, classics, religion, and philosophy. Whatever you do next, I wish you well. I hope that what you learned here is helpful for you, and that as time passes, your appreciation for the time that you spent with us at UKZN continues to grow. Once more, congratulations. To the class of 2021, I want to applaud you for your tenacity, resilience, and hard work. As the Dean of the School of Applied Human Sciences, I want to acknowledge the role that you played that made you to the point where today we can celebrate you. I want to acknowledge the significant role that was played by your significant others in supporting you throughout the journey. That could have been in the form of providing material support, financial support, social support, or any other form of support. 
These significant others could have been anyone like your parents, your brothers, uh, your sisters, your uncles, your aunts, your neighbors, your spiritual leaders, maybe your uh, spouses or even your children. Uh, this is also an opportunity for me to acknowledge the role that your peers played in, in spurring you on during those difficult moments. Um, lastly, I want to acknowledge the role that uh, your lecturers and the UKZN community played in um, exposing you to the best scholarship in terms of knowledge, attitude and skills that you would need in your communities. Now, lastly, I want to say you have done well. This is a moment where you need to celebrate yourself, but at the same time, appreciate those that supported you throughout your journey. This is not uh, the end, it is only the beginning. Go out there and make a difference in your circle of influence. I want to congratulate you and I want to say, go out there and inspire greatness. Hello, grad ones. You have fought bravely and are now victorious. The 2020 academic year was full of uncertainties, turbulence, and unfamiliar transitions. The rest of the world was at a similar place. We too had to adapt and change. Your graduation marks a moment of success to our collective efforts. The positive aspect of COVID-19 has been the affirmation of the social sciences as an important anchor to human development. At first, it appeared as a health science concern. However, the effects of the lockdown and the necessary behavioral changes to fight the pandemic made the entire world to seek solutions from the social sciences. When the understanding of vaccine nationalism is sought, the social sciences is at front and center. Walk tall, knowing that your skills, your craft, and enthusiasm is needed by the entire world. To you, graduates, we say continue in this strength as you pursue your journey into creating knowledge and justice for all, especially for the most vulnerable. I pray that as you encounter people you will treat them, especially the most vulnerable, with kindness and humility. Congratulations to you all. I am Vuisa Gadumula from the dusty town of Duchua in Eastern Cape. I'm very humbled by this opportunity to address the class of 2021 and share my message. When I received this invitation, I asked myself, who am I to be delivering this message? And I wanted to share a bit of my experience as well as to share with you my message for this, for the, for this graduation. One of the things that I enjoyed doing this PhD, of course, no one ever says they enjoy the PhD completely. Um, I enjoyed my field work absolutely every bit of it. The most memorable moments in doing my PhD, especially during the field work, was when I spent time with my comrades when they were sharing their insights. One could get a sense of their pride that one of them has made it and one of them has decided to disrupt the norm where HIV positive women who are black don't, are not counted as part of the knowledge producers in movements. And yes, of course, this journey has, has had those memorable moments, but I've also had a, a good share of my low moments. This journey is a very humbling process. And it's true that only a few walk it, but that few should not deter any of us from doing it. For as long as it is possible, everybody can do it. I've honestly had my low moments. I also had my high moments. Just like anybody else who's studying, you are not going to enjoy the journey all the time. I owe completing this degree to so many people. And I have huge fear that I'm going to leave a few names out. And in doing justice, I would like to call myself a child of a village. I would not have completed this degree without that village. That village spreads as far as all the continents of the world. Wherever there is a comrade of mine, wherever there is a person with HIV, wherever there's a black woman, that's my village. 
it is that village that has led me to completion of this degree. I've received enormous support. In my moment of low, I reached out to my movement, to my activists to, for support. And they gathered the support and they supported me. I also would say I'm indebt indebted to my family, particularly to my husband, to my children, for my absence, but at the same time for their understanding that even if I, I, I were to choose to do this again, I absolutely would want to do it. Of course, without the lows, I would not want the lows in there. Um, I would do it. I would do it because I know that we as black children, we are born in a racist and unequal society. It is my job, it is your job to make sure that our degrees and our gowns are not dust collectors. In fact, they should be a weapon and a tool to disrupt the norm, the norm and the order of knowledge production, where some people are privileged to be counted as knowledge producers, and some of us are not counted. We are the generation that must never accept the status quo. We are the manifestation of black women living with HIV that refused to perish with AIDS. Let us not accept anyone who tells us that the sky is the limit. I am the example from your class of 2021 that the stars are what we should be reaching for. And Africa is waiting for us to all rise. As I will be graduating with all of you, I am also embarking on another journey. And that journey is on the path of continuing my research and continuing my writing through a postdoctoral fellowship at the Center, of Civil so Center for Civil Society at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. And I urge all of you, let this be not the end. Let's go out there and change all the injustices. Let's go out there in spaces that are toxic and make them conducive for everybody to thrive. Let's go out there and be counted as the generation of 2021 who graduated and made societal change. Let our degrees make a social impact. Thank you and good luck with all your endeavors in your futures.
I confer degrees upon those who have qualified but are not present, and I award diplomas and certificates to those who have qualified but are not present, including those who have qualified posthumously. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. See you. 